Uh, my name is Angela Snyder, and I'm a recent graduate of the MFA program at the U of A in printmaking. And this is my uh, graduating thesis exhibition uh, called Obscura. Uh, and this show is a, the culmination of my work here over the last, um, well, three years. And uh, primarily the show is printmaking, photo-based printmaking, um, but there's also a bit of uh, expansion into alternative photography um, uh, techniques. And broadly the show um, is, speaks to uh, my interest in the relationship between psychological spaces and physical spaces. Um, and this has personal implications for me um, as far as my own uh, subjective experiences and memories, um, but also um, has broader uh, implications uh, around the way we perceive and the way we experience uh, space. Broadly, this exhibition is grouped into three um, groupings of work. Uh, the first being the suite uh, of photopolymer prints, so photo-based uh, prints. And the second is uh, a pair of large digital prints uh, printed on Japanese paper and pasted to the wall. And the third is the secret room <laughs> in the back. Uh, the, it's a camera obscura installation, but it's a bit of a play on this technology and it's a more immersive um, darkened room. The way that this uh, series of prints began uh, was uh, at a time when I was shooting a lot of photographs uh, outdoors and I was shooting, um, I was looking for scenes that would, uh, that were compelling in, in a way that uh, made me question scale uh, or uh, surface. Um, so I, I was walking outside and shooting a lot of photos at night with long um, ex film exposures. And with the long exposures, I started getting areas in the image that were inaccessible in some way, either uh, because of the darkness or because of blurring um, in the motion of branches or uh, different things. And eventually, um, I wanted to be able to manipulate uh, the scenes more explicitly and create a space that was more controlled but that also offered uh, a bit of surprise. And I started to build the spaces. Um, and so this was a very uh, spontaneous, um, rapid process. Uh, and I was using um, materials uh, like cardboard boxes and dirt from the River Valley here in Edmonton. Um, and I was interested in the idea that these artificial spaces um, could access or evoke uh, a similar experience to being in a larger physical space. And I started thinking about uh, the way that they might even be closer to something that we would remember or um, a feeling of being in a, in a physical space. The larger works that are pasted to the wall uh, are created in a similar way um, as the smaller photo works. Uh, and really this was a continuation of some of the things that I had been trying near the end of the series um, where something either in the, in the box there was a feeling that something was about to happen or something had just happened uh, and uh, that event was ambiguous but it had some familiarity in, uh, in that it resembled maybe a natural effect uh, of weather and that kind of thing whether it was snow or or mist, uh, and so here I've um, 
I've been I've used water, uh, and this is this is creating for me a much more dramatic um, feeling that alludes uh, heavily to cin uh, to cinema. And these prints are printed digitally on Japanese paper and pasted to the wall. And this is a way um, where I could really blow up the scale. And uh, the motivation for doing this was to create uh, an image that filled more of your field of vision and that could be um, experienced in a slightly different way in the gallery. The final room in the exhibition uh, is a darkened room uh, that's as light sealed as possible. And this room uh, houses three uh, projection boxes. And the way that the projection boxes work is through the same technology as the camera obscura. The bright scene from inside passes through the aperture and travels through the lens, which focuses the image. Um, the image would project without a lens, but it would be very blurry. Um, and so the image uh, passes through the aperture and is both reversed and flipped upside down. Uh, and the reason that the scenes appear to be right side up uh, in the show is because I put the diorama upside down inside the box. And so if you stand in front of the aperture, um, you can look inside and see uh, the scene as it truly is in physical reality, um, but it's difficult to see the whole scene at once because uh, of the, the small aperture and uh, that you can't get your head inside there. So although we can look inside and see that it's a, a uh, physical space, uh, I'm interested in the effect of the projection because there's this feeling of um, suspended disbelief where we know um, vaguely how the, how the technology works, um, at least a little bit, um, but seeing the projection uh, is, gives this immersive um, feeling of being in a, a natural space, uh, maybe in a burrow or um, a cave. Um, and so although we know vaguely what's happening, uh, the projections are seductive and they transport us in some way. I feel very um, fortunate to have uh, been uh, given the chance to, to study at the U of A. Um, I always wanted to come here uh, for my MFA because of having heard so much about the program um, from teachers and, and alumni. Uh, and being here is really, uh, I've, I've really had the chance to um, think very deeply about my art practice and uh, I've had the benefit of, of having the time that is required to really have, have that deep introspection and um, push through all those times when uh, you're not sure about anything. <laughs> uh, and that takes time, and I, I feel like I had uh, that opportunity. And I also had so much support throughout uh, from fantastic faculty. Um, Liz Ingram, when she was just finishing here, and Sean Caulfield, and now Marilyn Oliver. Uh, I feel very fortunate to have worked with um, these artists. And also, I've had just some really fantastic colleagues and friends, both in the studio and in the city. Uh, it's very interesting to see uh, the way the work has shifted just from being in this place, uh, inevitably because I'm making images of um, outdoor spaces, uh, the work has shifted and, and reflects um, a certain nuanced uh, feeling of this place that would be different um, based on who's making the images, of course, um, but it something about it translates, uh, even if the spaces ended up in the end being constructed. Um, and I just I, I feel very content about where I am and uh, and how how everything has turned out, and 
I'm looking forward to keep con keeping in touch with everyone here, uh, whether I leave or whether I stay. Uh, and I'm thinking about what I'm going to make next <laughs> with both fear and excitement. <laughs>